If y squared plus x to the third power is equal to x squared times y to the third power, then what is the derivative of y with respect to x? And since we're dealing with an equation where we don't have it solved for y, we have to use what's called implicit differentiation. And when dealing with these terms involving y, we have to remember that y is a function of x. So we'll have to use the chain rule when we take its derivative. So let's start taking the derivative of this equation. So with y squared, we'll bring the 2 down in front, and the inner function will stay the same, and we'll decrease the exponent by 1. And now we just have to multiply by the derivative of this inner function, y. And the derivative of y we just write as dy over dx. And now we'll add the derivative of x to the third power, which is just 3x squared. And this is equal to the derivative of this product here. And when you take the derivative of a product, you have to use the product rule for derivatives. So let's say I have two functions, f times g, and I need to take their derivative. This will be equal to the derivative of f times the function g plus the derivative of the function g times the function f. So let's apply this to our product here. So we'll take the derivative first of this x squared and multiply it by y cubed. So we have 2x to the first times y cubed. And now we'll add the derivative of this y cubed. And again, we'll use the chain rule here since y is a function of x. So we'll bring the 3 down in front. And the inner function will stay the same, and we'll subtract 1 from the exponent. So we have 3y squared multiplied by the derivative of y with respect to x. And then we just have to multiply by this function, x squared. And now that we've taken the derivative on each side, we have to figure out what dy dx is. And we can do that by just solving the equation for dy dx. So to do that, let's subtract this term from each side of the equation so that we have all of the dy dx's on one side. So we can rewrite this as 2y times dy over dx minus 3y squared times dy over dx times x squared. And we have this plus 3x squared, but let's subtract that from each side. So this is equal to 2xy cubed minus 3x squared. And now that we have the dy dx on the same side, we can just factor it out from each of these terms. So we have dy over dx multiplied by 2y minus 3y squared times x squared. And this is equal to 2xy cubed minus 3x squared. And then we just have to divide each side of the equation by this expression in parentheses. So our final answer is dy over dx is equal to 2xy to the third minus 3x squared all divided by 2y minus 3y squared times x squared.